After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Now, in the year 1973, the world still lies in the heart of this frigid period. The West and East engage in proxy wars to assert dominance, while spies and agents engage in shadowy dealings. And, with the threat of nuclear war, the world always feels close to doomsday. It's as if the whole world is holding their breath, waiting for someone to make the first wrong move. Now. I can't believe Stigma's a dark elf sympathizer. Holy shit. <laughs> I love like, nothing morning. about the dark half. Hello, hello. We are back to Judge Earl's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, not having it. It's been trouble. Oh, we wait, are back. Fuck. If you see that rule book in the chat, no, you don't. <laughs> uh, it's not there. Sure. No, no. As recompense for your foolish sharing of the rule book, what happened last time? You know, it was quick. Um, last time we escaped from the well, escaped. Uh, Chelsea and uh, Vasily stayed back to like guard against any of those guards coming out of the wounded tower while we like while um, Dune or sorry, Bats and Driver left to go get on the ship with Kay as well as like all the people we'd rescued. Uh, and then as they were getting away on the ship, um hamon man and i forgot his name but crown leader man appeared yeah, that's it. and yeah. we're like the microchip give it to me there was a microchip by the way microfilm um, yeah that tells you tells you when all the people will be connected and now we're back go all, all of the prisoners by the way are turned into balls at the moment so is yeah. rivers rivers yeah. is also bald. Feels like a fucking bald at this point oh we we took rivers yes rivers yeah. is also bald He's a big ball, remember? <laughs> He's like that is right. That's rest. right. We have, yeah, we have like a one of those. It's not about the money balls. bets. It's not about the money bets. Okay, but yes, you have the. Oh, and uh, also, uh, Manuel is fucking dead as hell. Yeah, he got murdered by the better angels. Yeah, he got forced to scrape his own face off. He got hyenaed. For those of you who watch Aetheral Space. What, in the sense that they both died? <laughs> well, they were both... Very no, 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 in the sense that they were framed as an antagonist and then killed by a larger antagonist, okay. very suddenly. The unique literary device. Okay, <laughs> okay so we're going to whoosh back in because we don't have much time. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So, Set the... Scene uh... for me. Whatever you do, don't play Fade to Black from Bleach. <laughs> so, we are on the beach, basically. The, the group here of, um, I believe it was Bats, uh, Driver, and um, Catherine, hey, has been encircled by this shadow. The same one that seems to teleport the Better Angels members from place to place. And within it, um, there is the Hamon user, Darius Main, the uh, leader of the Better Angels, Genesis, who is approaching Driver, hand extended, at requesting the microfilm, and the corpse of Manuel, whose face has been scraped off, revealing the bloody skull beneath. And as you, as you sort of, your eyes look at him, you do see the orange glove he was wearing on one hand sort of squelch and become this strange orange gelatinous mass for a second, for hopping off his hand and coalescing into another human figure. A, uh, a, a figure with sort of like big frog-like wide eyes, a strange uh, skinny, skinny body plan, and long orange hair, but not, it's weird hair, it's like a single mass, basically, like bubblegum almost. Didn't we run into than... this frog person before? You did see, uh, Chelsea did see him sort of uh, watching on in a meeting. <laughs> so it seems he was shapeshifted into a glove that uh, Manuel was wearing, the same one that he used to uh, scrape off his own face. That's so gross, I think this guy might be an alien, guys. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I, I still stick to my theory that they're all, like, different types of supernaturals. Exactly. Right. Which may, very illegal. If he's shapeshifting, he's probably the alien one. Yeah. So Genesis, uh, he's approaching Driver. He's got that calm smile on his face, the black horns. Not not a crown, but, like, a crown of horns, like, protruding from his head, basically, ringing around it. Uh, he's got sandals on, he's got a big white poncho, and a, uh, he sort of smiles kind of goes, the microfilm, if you would. I don't believe that belongs to you. Unfortunately, we're here on a bit of a mission of our own, so... Can't exactly do that without bringing something home to my boss. I'm, I'm gonna lean in to, uh, Driver, and I'm gonna go... D um, I need a distraction, right now. Just 
block their vision. Block their vision. Tayan. Block my vision? What I was hinting at here was, you know when you use Proto Men to make a very fast uh, recording that, you know, might go around in a circle? Yeah. So, something like that. That would, you know. Okay. I was the... on their eyes. When it, when you said uh, block their vision, my mind immediately jumped to have proto men do a flashbang. Be well, you could do that too. That works. That work. Whatever one, I think that would work when, better. That's more creative. When you mentioned the building fast, though, I just imagined driver running around with proto men using him like fucking Fortnite to like rapid build. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, yes, <laughs> I'm cranking nineties on you. Where's my slurp juice? <laughs> Check this out, Tomato Town. Of course, the atom bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I just got back from the cinema. <laughs> I watched Oppenheimer. Oh no! <laughs> but yeah, are you gonna flashbang him? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna like uh, reach into my pocket, Tan. Like I'm mm -hmm. about to pull something out, uh, and then without warning, from one of my eyes, which is turned into like one of Proto Men's headlights, flashbang. Okay. Also, could we just destroy and, the microfilm? We already saw what's on it. Fuck these guys. Well, no, we need to get it back to headquarters. But Neil won't believe us. I, if I may enact my gambit as this flashbang is is going on, okay. um, I'd like to have uh, the clash come out, and on the sand itself, he's going to start burrowing. Okay, like turning through loads of balls to like make a tunnel. Um, y yeah, but like he, it's it's. Le I, I don't think he'd be able to turn the sand itself into balls. I think he might just try to burrow himself down there, like the stand. Okay. Like, yeah, he's I, basically I he's basically doing the fucking um pet shop thing from part three. Ah. I am picturing Hunter Hunter and fucking Alumi does the fucking hole. If he has to, let, let's, okay, so if the Clash can, like, shoot balls out, like, at higher velocities and stuff, we can make the assumption that he can spin really fast himself, too. Okay. So if he has to, like, dig Is himself Is like, that a spin user? <laughs> As he tries he to dig a hole? potential to become a spin user, honest to God. But... I'm going to have the clash burrow itself under the sand, and that he's going to remain down there while he's setting up the rest of this plan. So you guys are on a boat, but you're like on the coast. We're not on the boat yet. We're, you're we're about the, to we're get to the, the boat on the beach. Um, yeah, we're on the. The boat is in front of us, and we are and unable to get and there. They're on the boat. No, they're all on the beach. No one's on the boat. Oh, I think I got the confused because you mentioned the shadow appeared below the boat. No, around the beach, I said. No, what? Would... I'm going to go back later and listen to the episode. I'm going to be pissed if it, you're right. He did, you're he, did say, he did say under the boat, but there was no implication that we were on the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. I know. I, just... I knew it wasn't crazy. Fucking tan. <laughs> Still looking chicanery. <laughs> okay, so we got your flashbanging uh, driver, and at the same time, you're digging a hole, uh, Bats. Yes. Okay. Um... <laughs> Well, yeah, I would probably say that's going to be a confound for uh, Jack's uh, flashbang to see sort of the effectiveness of this flashbang. Would this, sort of what is that? Wit menacing? Would this uh, that is be menacing in speed. Would this perhaps oh, okay. be a dual heat? I will allow you to do heat if you, if you guys want it to. I mean, I, I can do this as just my own action. I've got like a 96, so unless you have a, no a 5d6 to offer me, then... In what? It doesn't matter, I guess. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, we can't work together. Yeah. You're too weak. Yeah, I trust you, man. You got this. <laughs> so that's uh, yeah. one, Perfect. two, three, four. four. Yeah, that's an effective fucking uh, flashbang. So, a, a flash of light that almost almost sort of blasts away the, sh the ring of shadow. Not quite, though. It sort of clings like tar to the ground. And in that time, you are able to uh, play Minecraft a little bit back to make your little hole. The purpose perfect. of which I'm still wondering about. Hey, don't worry. Perfect, about it. perfect. 
Yeah, don't worry about this it. This is them being attacked by proto men. Do any of them seem like particularly sensitive to the flashbang more than a normal person? Like uh, Genesis raises hand up, looking extremely annoyed. That's the leader, right? Yeah. What does the alien do? Yeah, I was wondering the if alien the alien's funky frog of, eyes would freak the fuck it, out or something. It just the, the the eyes just sort of spin around, but that doesn't seem to be a result of discomfort <laughs> or anything. Um, and while they're distracted, um, Bat, are you taking Catherine with you? Um, no, I'm going to. I don't think that that it's a good idea to move. Like, I'm still on the surface. The okay. clash is below the water. Or not below the water, below the sand. I was like, I'm sending my stand away to safety. I'll stay, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be careful, little one. Okay. Um, but I do have to make this convincing, so I will have to make an escape attempt here. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I want you and... to worry about, like... This well, is about to go into a combat if we do continue on this path, but that is of course up to you. I'm um, fine going. I'm fine going to combat. You can, I, I, I think it would be fun if if you uh, beat this roll, you uh, um, I get like stopped, but it has like continues on with the JoJo thing of them continuing to threaten us. Okay. Any any of you guys play Fear and Hunger? Uh, not yet. It's on my list. Never As a fucking it. fair to hunger head, awesome. I, I was just, I was just imagining like you get attacked by the fucking better angels. And it's just a coin flip attack. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try to um, while after the flashbang, I whisper uh sorry to Catherine, um, and then I try, I have proto men like go over my body and i try to speed my way um out of this like trap like this is like a whirlwind around us right right it's not like a border it's not so much like swirling uh okay but... yeah i'm gonna try and go over the border i know out of character this isn't gonna go well but okay so uh, want me to roll for that so, uh, yeah, as you rush past Genesis, he sort of moves to try and intercept you here. Um, he doesn't seem to have a weapon over, he's just sort of lunging with one of his hands here. And, um, let me just have a look. So, uh, from him, he's gonna go for a, uh, a maneuver here, as he's trying to, like, yeah. move around to get in your way. I'm doing pluck and speed, which is, like, out speed or whatever. Okay, he's really race. Body. It's gonna roll uh, body and speed then. Do I get an advantage or no? You can have an advantage. Okay. Was that your roll just there? Or? Yeah. yeah. Holy shit! So, one, two, three, four, five, six. How many did you get? Uh, one, two. Three, four, five, six. I think he's got the stats. Okay, so equally there. So um, he does sort of get in front of you, preventing you from uh, moving past him for the time being, but you are not necessarily caught or anything. He just sort of blocks your path here. Yeah, okay. I'm afraid this is your last warning. If you continue trying to flee, I'll have to pursue with lethal intent. I'm like, uh, I start breathing heavily as like the fucking menacing thing shows up on screen. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's standing menacing. <laughs> Did you notice my dice pool? It's like every scene of like whenever Johnny is being attacked by a stand and it like zooms in on his face and has him breathing heavily. Yeah. <laughs> this is the pose he's doing right now. Um, Hold on, I gotta go to general. <laughs> Don Dante can like be seen like his stand uh sort of fading away and he like reaches into his pocket. Okay. That's very wise of you. He sort of holds his hand out. If you please uh, give that back. I glance over to bats. I'm glancing. B bats. Nothing. Okay. Bats! What is the 
hole! I... Say, saying that Bats has no better ideas... Oh wait, no, 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 do you want me to pull this off right now? Because it, it would it, it would involve combat. I think, um, I think we're in it, Chief. Do you think we should go to combat, or do you think we I should think we use, I think we it for use, now? I think we could use this combat as a surefire retreat. At could least you, a way to get on the boat. Could you record, so could you say you've recorded the microfilm, project it, and then when you give it to him and get away, then it like disappears. He's like, it was a false microfilm. Um, I could try that, but it would have to stay in line of sight. Yeah, they give you a head start on running back towards me and Vasily anyway. Um, so Tan, I reach into my pocket and I pull out uh, a microfilm. And I like okay. very slowly reach out the, uh, reach out to hand it over to him. He's sort of holding his hand out for you to sort of drop it into his palm here. He's not like actively taking it. It seems. So what Jack, do you want move. me to do my thing now, or? Um, I think it's up to you. I don't think I have any say in this. Yeah, we. Okay. I have no clue what your thing is. I have yeah, a I plan of my own, own, but. Well, okay, this, I, well, this thing right, I have an idea. On the libs. You're going. You're going to hand him the microfilm, and we're going to back away onto the boat. And if things continue to go south, then I will do the thing. I okay. just want to get get the survivors on the boat, and I want to get at least like somebody on the boat there to watch them. You didn't realize all this time I've been building a sand castle. Like before, I drop it in his hand. I pause and I say, "If I give you this film, will you let us leave with?" Um, with, with the uh, survivors of your little project down there. Of course, my word is my bond. After he says that, I drop the microfilm into his hand. Oh, wait, he agreed. You said give him this, not the thing. Ooh. Is his word truly his bond? Because you've given him this. And he sort of looks at it and he, 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 like you see his stand aura sort of flare a little bit as he goes, keep it dark, act one. And you see a small, like a tiny, like little black wind chime appear over his shoulder. It's got a big, a single golden eye on top of it, sort of floating there. And it only appears for like a second before vanishing, but he frowns deeply. It seems you fooled me. Well done. Huh? This is a fake. I would have discovered it shortly after you left. However, it's but, as I said, my word what is my What bond. are you talking about? He sort of uh, crushes it in his hand. That I should say out of character, that was not my projection. Oh. <laughs> Wait, really? Then I think we need to have the time roaches, if that's the case. <laughs> I think no, I think I think the handing in the projection was the way to go, because it appears that yeah. that's why I thought yeah, it was yeah. Well. He just gave you a he just said as my word is my bond. Yeah. Yeah, I no, I, just I, I that, so... <laughs> real one because I don't think we I don't think this is the time to fight this guy. Alright, well in that well, case we have the time to stand would detect. I think. Yeah. Yeah, no. Ah, my head, uh, the time roaches, he says. <laughs> I- oh my god, you're being attacked by the roaches too? <laughs> I appreciate- I appreciate fight. you being honest, even though he was about to let us get away scot-free with the film because of his fucking I'm, fake I'm bullshit. I'm still off of you right now, Jack. I'm a little OC pissed out, but I also admired the sticking the character. So you gave him the real one, okay. Yeah. Well, yes. He sort of smiles slightly. Goes, You're a very honest person. I appreciate that. As promised, I will let you go. The time roaches will spare you. Well, I have my own honor as a courier, so... And then the fucking Fallout music plays. Yeah. <laughs> and the courier who changed the clarinet island. <laughs> what I want to do it once more. Um, and I like start backing up over to the boat, and I uh like grabbing Catherine by the arm and uh looking over to Bats and whispering, "Let's just go." Yes, I promised, of course, that I would let you go. I'm not the only one here, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, you fool! Zoom, it zooms in on Driver's face. 
Money. If you had given him the fake one, you could have tried the scam bit again with the other ones. <laughs> 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 and, uh, right now. As he sort of um, takes the microfilm, begins walking off into the shadow. But the two others with him, the Hamon user Darius Main and this uh, strange like, frogman, turn to look at you guys. And at the same time, it's like a flash of lightning, a tropical storm brewing off the coast. And when the flash of lightning clears, you can see a massive stand standing in the ocean a distance away. It it's the beast! Be blue oyster cults as well. Oh, fuck. A flash of lightning? He's hiding uh, yes. in the sky! So, um... And they do not appear to want you to leave. <laughs> yeah, figured. And with that, I think it's probably going to be swoosh to um, Chelsea and uh, Vasily for the time being. Hey, you think they'll protect that microphone? <laughs> what microphone? You. Never mind. I forget. Stigma, I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of worried about them, and I don't see any guards coming up yet. Maybe we should just go. Wait, I thought. Wait, oh, wait, I thought our characters were already in, in the elevator or something. What the fuck is going oh, yeah. on? Remember, I remember last time you went to the the offices to like check for yeah, Manuel. Was, yeah, then we started running yeah. to the elevators, and I figured we were already there. Um... I was there not a single high quality picture of the beast from Infamous. <laughs> wait, I'm playing through the Infamous games. Don't spoil. Uh, alright, so we're on the elevator headed back down then? Yeah, so there's a little bit of an elevator where you get a view of the outside, and as you, like, zoom down a little bit, you can see that massive oh, fucking got, like, humanoid figure oh, got, like, standing off the coast. Oh, it's got, like, the wall. Is that yeah. it? Wait, no, didn't exactly. we already go down? Because otherwise, how does this work time-wise? Because it was, you like... went up. No, I know we went up, but then... But, like, the guy who killed Manuel was that guy, so how did he zoom across the island? Who can say? Didn't Manuel get teleported? To yeah, like Manuel got teleported to them. You don't know he's dead. That's true. Manuel just disappeared. Yeah. Okay. I understand. But you, you see the mass, massive uh, human figure. It's perhaps not too familiar to you, Vasily, as you see that standing off the coast. But Chelsea, you were there for last time. And you can see that talking figure that is unmistakably Blue Oyster Cult. Uh, her eyes. Oh, God. This is like that recent Japanese film, Godzilla. It's not that recent. Wasn't Godzilla like, in the, like the fifties or the forties? Godzilla came out. I mean, the there's a Godzilla movie like every yeah, probably, year. One so of the, one of them is probably recent. <laughs> this reminds but me of this, that new American point, Godzilla movie. Yeah, at this point, there's like twelve Godzilla movies. But when did they get like? I feel yeah, like there's uh, a just lot like more recent than recent movie, back. Godzilla vs. Godzilla. Oh wait, you meant in that year? Okay. Uh, Chelsea's eyes widen to their utmost, and she puts a hand. Over Vasily, she's like, we need, to, we need to get the fuck out of here. He's talking about Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla, yeah. released in 1974. This is the first in the series. He <laughs> was really fucking confused. Well, Chelsea, there's only one way down faster than the elevator, and he taps on the glass window. God, we're gonna be down there in like 30 seconds. Now let him cook. <laughs> Your words were very confusing, then. <laughs> My point is, we need to get over to them if that thing's appeared. Look, okay. Am I not cut uh, out it, the 30 is it like seconds? standing very currently, or is it, like, moving? Uh, it's standing there. Uh, it's not actually moving. That's it seems to be that... focused on a particular spot on the coast. It's the thing that fired, like, a laser at us and turned people into cardboard. Well, that, if that's the case, Chelsea, then... What can we do besides run? Um, well, we can go save our friends. Uh, we can leave. I, I guess that's running. Okay. So we can go help our friends, or we can run. <laughs> or, you know, maybe we could just, like, hide. Maybe they wouldn't find us, but I don't want to do that. I think that would be the wrong option. If... It's as strong as it looks, how exactly are we going to help them? Well... Every stand has a user. We just gotta find the user. As you say this, you do see uh, Chelsea that the way Blue Oyster Cult is standing now, as the way it was standing last time, is in a very particular pose. Mm -hmm. One hand is sort of hanging by its side, but the other is sort of held upwards, like in front of its face. <gasps> 
facility do you have binoculars? Uh, roll, roll your binoculars at. <laughs> do you have binoculars? Roll luck. <laughs> I do not believe he would have binoculars, but you might have opera glasses. That's, I don't, sure. Do you have opera glasses? Uh, roll your luck <laughs> to see if you have opera glasses. Uh, I'll just, I'll take that as a d6. No, oh, let's go! Wait, that's... You have opera glasses. <laughs> no more to be said. Every, every, every gentleman carries a pair wherever they go. These are like military grade opera glasses. These I, are outstanding. You I, don't understand how these are used by civilians. I, I take the opera glasses and I look outside and I try to see the hand that's being held up. You can see a humanoid figure standing atop that hand. It seems to be a woman in a black dress with a long white scarf sort of billowing in the wind behind her. I think a plan starting to form, and like this is like an this is like an island. There's like some wild animals running around, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, I think if you would allow me to say this, I see like as we're going down, there's a chicken, and I go, oh, and I go like, oh hey, wow, <laughs> hey, Vasily, I'm hungry. Vasily, chickens used to uh, be dinosaurs or something, right? Uh, if you go back long enough, yes. <laughs> think any of those ancestors are flying dinosaurs? Hmm. Well, I did skim that section of my uh, biology textbook. Perhaps they, they were. I think I think we have our plan, Vasily, on how we're going to stop that thing and save our friends. Is I... it a lone chicken? I think um, there's two. Oh, there's two! One of them always lies and the other always tells the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Which chicken will tell me to? They're stand users, but their stand just lets them talk. That's it. <laughs> Which door will that chicken tell me to take? <laughs> All right, Chelsea, you take the one on the left. I'll take the one on the right. You can send the fucking choke of us. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. And then maybe uh, our friends will like me again. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is this is the move. Let's do it. Remember, probably will fucking love me. <laughs> All right, I think we have our plan. We're ready, Tan. Okay, so uh, can, uh, is Flight of the Valkyries copyright? Of course. It... Yeah. Well, yeah. technically, no, it should it's be public, public, public domain. domain. It should be, but there are like 500 people that want to act like the music belongs to them. Okay, so we can't. So do you will Valkyries. get claimed on YouTube. That sucks. Oh well. Um. Okay, so. I'm assuming you're going for sort of like pterodactyls here, which I don't know if chickens are descended from those, but I'll let it slide. <laughs> let, I can Google it. Give me a minute. Uh, are chickens descended? No, from they're not. I know it's like raptors, but like. Well, I don't know if chickens are. Well, Vasily believes they are, so. The chicken, no. um, what the chicken I, I, is like. I, I, I the chickens there. descended from dining shards. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't believe in that. I believe in God. Okay. Uh, well, if we want a backup plan, what type of uh, you know? They would have been theropods. What type of contraption could uh, Chelsea make from dinosaur, flying dinosaur bones? Just oh, wondering. No. This is fucked. <laughs> uh, all kinds of stuff. Can they make? Wow, this is just like my favorite movie: Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla. Okay, survival evolved. <laughs> You know, that's not what I was going for, but I kind of like what, what you're thinking, Jack. What is Jack saying? And make like a mech out of the chicken bones. We could. Wait, we're killing the chickens? I mean, we're... Their bones is, are, so are you small, more really against it? No, well, their bones are so small. Them. How, many, how many chickens Oh, have I see what you're saying. De-age like, them into yeah. dinosaurs, kill them, then use the bigger diner, dino bones. <laughs> yes, that was. Yes, that was. This fox. This was like a simple kill, then, we have to kill, then we have to kill dinosaurs. That's so sad. <laughs> what if we became like an actual battle? Oh, no, with hold dinosaurs? on, hold on. Maybe we can fight large with large because it says chickens are the closest living relative to Tyrannosaurus rex and are directly oh, descended from it. That's that's better than the. That's Amazing. better than the. Maybe it's T Rex time. We can just go on mounted T Rexes. Come on, Stingley. Bye, 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 this 
point, you see uh, Vasily has gone. Vasily's stand is just turning into scary monsters from part seven. <laughs> it's so good, though. What were you saying, though, uh, Stigma? Uh, by, th by this point, if Chelsea's still lost in plot, she sees Vasily's gone to wring the neck of a chicken. Just, oh, hey, well, Vasily! Vasily! I'm, hu I'm hunting. No, d don't kill chickens. Look, we can turn them into big dinosaurs. I was about to do that. Oh. What? The, what? That was very misleading. Whatever. She stands atop her chicken. She has it grabbed, so she's ready to mount when it gets bigger. Okay. Uh, you know, does a reverse Uno? How how does the dinosaur turn out? Bones creak and crack as they grow. The squawk of the frightened chickens squeak of transition into a fucking ferocious pair of roars as the kings of the dinosaurs, two T Rex I, um, stomp on the ground. <laughs> T Rex I. Yeah. Fuck you. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and roar triumphantly when dinosaurs ruled the earth. Indeed, this is just yeah. like my favorite film, Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla. Yeah, it's like you know, you know, in the fucking um, in like uh, Shadow of Mordor, when the orcs are like, "Oi, man filth!" That's gonna that's gonna be our <laughs> moment it's back on the menu. That's gonna be our moment with with the kaiju. We're gonna roll up and be like, "Oi!" So yeah, you have a pair of T-Rex steeds. I will not let you, uh, you... Let's assume that they retain the, some of the chicken passivity so they don't fucking eat you. Yeah. yeah I was they, gonna, they I was gonna comment is. on that, but it's a good call, Tan. They, see, we, we were both like gripping their necks and holding them under us as they transformed, so the fear is already ingrained in them that they must obey us. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to name them? Yeah, uh, mine's... Uh, wait, are they girl or boy chickens? Um, I don't think we... I mean, yeah, okay, a bit chicken we could tell, yeah, I guess. Dinosaurs, not Okay, so I'm much. naming mine Chalk Landing Place. Chalk oh, Landing Place, okay. <laughs> Are we giving them fucking horse names? God damn it. <laughs> that does not help no, us. that's what Chelsea's name means. <laughs> we looked it up. Mine's Chalk Landing I love that that you're like, what do we name them? I'm like, meanwhile, fucking, you know, beating Vas the shit Vasily's, <laughs> Vasily's mount is called Slugger. <laughs> nice. Mine's called Chalk Landing Place, and I think she's prettier than yours. Okay, and as you uh, get on your T-Rexes, what, what what what's your immediate target? Are you going to uh, the Kaiju? Or yeah, we're going to little... the Kaiju. I am. You're standing in the ocean, I want to point out, so how do you plan to cross that uh, body of water? I have a T-Rex. My T-Rex is big, dude. T-Rexes can wade in the ocean. Hold on. How big? Hold on, <laughs> citation needed. Well, the T Rex I, I is think... forty feet long and only twelve feet high. Are you kidding me? What? That's. I, was, I, I mean, I was gonna say that Spinosaurus is probably better, but I, don't th I think that might be stretching it a bit. Okay. Well, maybe these are particularly. A chicken farmer, by the way, is like looking up at this size. Like, don't cheat that every day. How far in the water is it, though? Because you said they were on the coast. Tan, who said that? Was that farmer. a character who said that? The chicken farmer said that. Um, I- kill him. Why? Kill the chicken- I don't want MCU characters in this well, fucking campaign. that just happened. Sorry, Chelsea can't <laughs> kill anyone anymore, she'll get in trouble. This is pacifist- uh, Chelsea, Chelsea can't kill anyone anymore, she <laughs> has no idea. Dante- <laughs> Dante grabs a fucking gun and just inexplicably shoots at the chicken farmer. I I, I believe what happens is that Vasily uh, sneezes, causing his mount to to uh, wobble to the side. At which point, it accidentally headbutts the uh, chicken farmer and sends him flying. Thank you, Stigma. Like, Whoa! He lands in a heap. He's like, "Oh, that hurts." <laughs> Anyone got a mint? <laughs> and as we then we cut to the next scene before further vengeance can be taken. <laughs> I think that guy might be a stand user. You know what we could do? <laughs> Our T-Rexes could jump on the boat and then use their legs to paddle the boat to get to the kaiju. Well, why don't we get on the boat then? Fuck it you. seems rather fun. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, at that point... <laughs> I have something called an imagination, and I'm trying to use. Wait, it. I have it. Wait, I have a better idea. At this point, we're just trying to get advantages I by being as inefficient idea, as Darnell. possible. Go ahead. What's your I believe idea? Vasily will convert the most useless part of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the stunted uh, arms, into even more primeval 
<laughs> um, oh god, oh, wait. No. wait. I'm having a brain fart. What's it called again? Uh, fins? Yes, yes. Even more primeval fish oh fins. Oh my god. And gills? We're giving them gills. I suppose right? there's nothing stopping your ability from doing that. <laughs> yeah, because you he's can... already confirmed he's done like orangutan. He's arms a fucking Frankenstein at this point. Yeah, do it to mine too. Do it to mine. I would, I would like, I would he's like, like the point... fucking doctor from Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> I would like to point out that dinosaurs did, in fact, you know, come from earlier life forms. This is true. They did. But yeah, all things came from earlier life forms. Give, give mine fins and let's get gills and then we'll do like submersible dinos. They won't be ready. We can bite its legs. Yes, we'll nibble its uh, ankles. Let's do it. Let's do it. We march. Okay, so um, as your T Rex seeds dive into the water and tormented by the conflicting instincts of beings that never <laughs> they coexist in the same body, they uh, swim, um, weeping through the ocean towards uh, Blue Oyster Cult. That's the dirge of torments. Can you hear it? I can hear it. <laughs> the sorry. Laments. <laughs> laments of the, the tyrant lizard king. <laughs> we used to be kings, you know. We used to be chickens. <laughs> In another life, I really would have liked just being a chicken with you. <laughs> I really would have liked eating bird feed with you and laying eggs. No, that's make me sad, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I did realize you said they were both chickens, not roosters, so they are both ladies. Lady dinos. Okay. Oh, these chickens are gay. Good for them. Good for them. You got Good lesbian them. dinosaurs? Hell yeah. We're appealing to our audience as much as possible. Our audience. Okay. Right? Lesbian dinosaurs. So yeah, you, um, you've you been approaching blue oyster cult through the ocean, sort of hopping up and down on the water like fucking dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> making dolphin noises through the tears. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna need a stealth roll here with actually no, not good advantage because you're riding T Rex is what the fuck am I talking about? A uh, stealth roll. Should we do a yes, dual? Both of you a stealth roll, and that will be against the intelligence roll of this uh, stand user. Should we do a dual heat? I'd probably say it should be a dual heat though, yeah, because Alright, so what is stealth? Stealth? Well that's when you uh, sort of sneak around. Body okay, and reason. Body reason. <laughs> Alright, my reason is 46 and my body's only 2d6. What's your body? My body is 5, my reason's 2. Alright, so I'll do reason, you do body, and that puts us at 9 total. Ooh, Cannot be against this went. woman's intelligence, so her wit and her reason. Alright, so I'm, I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> so that's a uh, two successes there. Yeah. Ah, fuck Ooh. you! So you managed to get a sneak attack in here. carries the day. So you're right at the sort of... So the ankles are sort of submerged in the ocean here, with the feet coming down on the uh, the, 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 the sand below. Mm. So... You have sort of free reign for the moment. Her intention is focused entirely on that beach that it seems she's been like assigned to keep watch on while this fight is happening. Um, so... Ludo... How many dead things do you think are at the bottom of the ocean? Uh, like lots, yeah. So I'm I mean, gonna how gather. How are we talking about? So she doesn't know we're here, so I'm gonna gather as many bones in my radius as I can, uh, and I'm gonna try to make like one big like ring of like bone and blades, and then slam it all together around the leg to basically chop off the bottom part of the foot so that they fall over. Is my intent. Okay, so you're gonna try and like sever off the foot here. Basically, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd say it's probably a cripple there then from you. Hell yeah. And this is pretty much combat at this point, so let's make a little turn order. Any advantage jars? Um, I'll give you an advantage for your sneaky. Alright, let's see what cripple is. Power and wit. Ooh, I'm good at those. I'm good at those. Oh my god, that's a 10d6. I think that's my first 10d6 roll. Oh, baby. Baby at the One, two, three, four, five, oh six, seven, eight successes. Holy shit! <laughs> that is uh, quite a lot. I need to, I need to see what her uh, defense roll is, and then I can give you the hit difference table. Uh, so hers, she's gonna be going for a. Uh, let me just have a look. It was withstand from hers, a pluck and durability. Oh my god! Nice roll. 
I'll show you who a chalk landing place is. Well, yeah, needless to say, you got it there. So the top, the bottom of the foot is cut off, and the blue oyster cult begins like falling down. Uh, arms cast in front of it to like catch itself. The does, user's sort of. Does the user's foot also get cut off? It does. You, well, it's hard to tell from down here, but um, <laughs> uh, you do see like a splash of blood from up on top of the hand, and the user seems to like move very quickly across the uh, the back of Blue Oyster Cult to like reposition herself as it falls onto its hands and knees. Just like a black blur, like zooms across its surface, like parkouring across it very quickly. I have my T Rex sort of swim to the surface so we can get air, and I go, "Yeah, bitch, science!" <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're calling me a bitch? You yeah. Mean, from much closer than you'd expect that to be, given the difference between when you hit and when you spoke. Oh dear. Uh, so whose turn is it now, Blue Oyster Cult? Yeah, you see, as you say, as um, the woman says that, you see that she's standing, like, because it's now on its hands and knees, Blue Oyster Cult, mm -hmm. and she's standing atop its back, like, holding one hand out to, like, stop her from blowing her face. And looking at you appraisingly, as she sort of smiles, you see the glint of fangs in her mouth. Um. Hmm. Um. You wouldn't happen to be, <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be one of those newfangled vampires, would you? Is that what you say? Yeah. <laughs> newfangled. New to me. What anyway. are you talking about? I didn't hear about them until Driver brought them up a little bit ago. Is it daytime? It's not daytime now. This is so unfortunate for me right now. <laughs> and as she says that, she taking advantage of that you've just like popped out the water. She kicks off the the, the side of Blue Oyster Cult and launches herself towards you, hands outstretched, like grabbing you. Wait a minute, she's, she's... a vampire. Tan, she's a vampire. Hmm. Your your point, Darnell? <laughs> Isn't she technically dead? No. Oh. I thought I could manipulate her body, damn it. Uh, I'm gonna, so she's coming for me. I'm going to, and I'm not doing yeah, this Yeah, she's going a, for a restraint here, which is a power and durability. And I'm, I'm not gonna do this as a counterattack. I don't plan to do damage, but I'm gonna try and manifest the shovel and bat her away. Like, swing like baseball to knock her away from Okay. Me. Like a parry, you're yeah, trying to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I would say, well, it's parry, it's wit and durability. Wit and durability, I'm also good at that. If she's a vampire, we're probably better off fighting the fucking stand than her. One, two. Oh, shit. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, 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 oh dude. Oh. It seems I've seen it. So, yeah, you swing way... Well, you swing at the first second you can, but she's already well within your like your range when she like, grabs the, your arms, holding the shovel, grabs your throat, and in that instance as well, she's going to burn a... a um, a learning point, a temporary learning point. Huh. As she plunges her fingers into your neck and you feel your blood be absorbed. Uh, 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 so you take one hip uh, and she's going to heal one. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? And she does have hold of you, basically, if she wants to uh, do something else next to her. Unless Vasily will do something here. Vasily, I'm getting like visibly paler. <laughs> scrunching in my skin. Okay, so... If I understand like the physical positioning correctly, uh, Blue Oyster Cult, like the Kaiju, is kind of hunched over because of the damage to its ankle, right? Yeah, it's on its hands and knees, basically. But still huge. Right, and so uh, Chelsea and Vasily were kind of approaching it from opposite sides, I'm also guessing. Which means that yeah, sure. uh, I'm guessing like the Kaiju is kind of between him and uh, the user right now. Vizelli, if I'm gonna die. Right. Vizelli, yes, Vizelli. If, if you are, if we, if you came in from a different direction, that's the case. Bear in mind, I guess when it's hands and knees, there is you can go underneath like its chest and stomach here if you want to get to the other side as well. That's the I option. think Brazil is gonna try a high IQ save oh, by having does. his uh, Tyrannosaurus fish like. Rock it out of water and like gnaw off like the fingers or like the hand of the kaiju itself, which which will presumably make uh, which 
the hand that's like sucking the blood ah, of that is a high IQ also move. fall off. That's actually pretty pig brain, I love that. Okay, go for it though. I would say that's um, maybe a cripple from your side or break. That's even cripple or break there. I vote for break. Okay, and it'll be a withstand from her, so plucking durability. Alright. I'll be and you'll have an advantage for your big brain mess. I'll be. Uh, what do you say? Can I can make it out. You can have an advantage as well for your big brain move. Ooh, okay. Two, three, four, five. Right. Yeah, you've done it. So, Chelsea, from your perspective, you're like in the blood trained out of you, and suddenly her fingers just like pop over her knuckles. Like horribly, one of like is literally following. One of them is still like embedded in your net as oh! as it falls off the rest of her hands. <laughs> but you can no like feel like the active drain, even though you can like see the blood that she was drained, like spurting out the back of her finger. Oh, she's so gross! You're so gross, lady. And she does not react to a lot of the fingers like as a person would. She seems to, like flip back onto the back of her stand and like just lick it off her fucking hand. What we've got spilled. Now that I know she's a vampire, I can have some fun with her. Okay, but with that first... Oh, actually, there's one more to this first round of combat, then we're going to zoom back to the other scene. Yes, sir. So, you see a glow from a blue oyster cult's chest. It seems like, basically, the layout of this thing is, like, a humanoid huh? figure, no head, though, and a face that, like, ch takes up the entire chest. Like, when the mouth sort of opens, you can see a blue glow from within it, um, as it's pointing directly down towards the ocean. Um, and it fires this blue beam down. You recall that last time this beam hit anything, it got transformed into cardboard, but when it's striking the ocean here, um, it seems to be turning that ocean um, from water into some, some other substance, some sort of uh, green, horrid-looking substance, essentially. That oh no, this is the lack of, version of acid. Well, for the lack of a specific it looks more like waste. <laughs> Oh, Like radioactive sort of, ways? Poop ways? Wait, it's hard to tell at a glance. Is oh. this the origin of chum? It's, yeah, it looks like chum, basically. It looks disgusting, is the, the main state of it. And it's sort of like spreading out to like take up the entire area of ocean here. And your T-Rexes don't seem to like it. So basically, she's going to be doing a... Um... Let me just have a look. This is a, this is a strange one. <laughs> Poison damage to my T-Rex? Yeah, she's attacking the T-Rexes right now, essentially. No, leave them alone! So she's going for a, uh... I think maybe Bamboozle or Confound here? Bamboozle! She's trying to like, make them sort of break away for control, try and swim away from this disgusting display, basically. Chalk landing place, whatever. Wit and Menacing, she's gonna roll. And... I don't know how we're gonna roll for the T-Rexes here, because they don't have stats. <laughs> okay, for the T-Rexes, I'm gonna say this. They're going to have Vasily stats minus one. So you're going to roll Wit and Menacing. If she kills the T-Rexes, I'm going to be pissed. That would be quite... <laughs> so, and I'd say the T-Rexes are probably going to be rolling... Um, let's say collectively, because we're not on infinite fucking T-Rex rolls. <laughs> infinite T-Rex rolls. T -rex yeah, so the pluck and durability. So that'll be... Um, Silly's pluck minus one and Vasily's durability minus one. That's fucked up. Oh. My pluck and durability. Uh, so that would be two and two, so 46. Hey, two successes though. Oh. So as it fires, a chum, a, a tidal wave of chum like consumes this entire part of the ocean, just broiling and bubbling ominously. The the T Rex or the fucking creatures you've created. The chimera. Seemed, yeah, they do not like the chum. They do not like the ocean you put in. And as though you're a horse on a fucking. As though the horse is on a ranch and you're like the city boy who's come to uh, try and tame them, they buck the two of you off into the filthy ocean as they swim away. Uh, can I do a reaction oh, to that? I'll allow you to do a reaction to that. So my bone saw thing, that's like a circular saw that closes oh, in. Your bone claw? Uh, I try to bring it out like the, you know how Static Shock rides the disc? And I try to catch me and Vasily on the disc so we can stay out of the hell jump. So we can just fly on the bone disc. 
Roll for an intercept there, and that'll be against the successes she's just had, basically. Yes, so intercept is durability and precision. And you can have an advantage, could be a smart move as well. Thanks. It's nice. No problem, kid. Uh, one, two, it. three. Um, so I'm going to give you a choice, because you didn't quite get it there, but I'm going to give you a choice, because there, there's no way for that to totally fail. Mm. One of you can be on that disc. <laughs> I think Chelsea because she knows he probably has the, the more valuable power for this encounter. She's going to save the silly and spin him over either to the boat or like somewhere above or near her, but like she'll fall into the waist. Oh, okay. You get your like fucking Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> falling into the chum here <laughs> as you are on the uh, the door that is the spinning bone saw. Which is sort of floating in the air here, and uh, as you are sort of being accustomed to that new situation, we're going to flick back to uh, the beach itself. So you guys, uh, Bats, Driver, and Catherine, uh, you have all seen um, Blue Water Cult in the distance fall to its hands and knees. It seems like, up from this distance, you can't quite tell what exactly is happening, but it seems like obviously it's going to fight of its own. As right. uh, Darius Main and this uh, frog-looking guy advance towards you menacingly. Uh, Genesis um, just sort of disappears into the shadows and sunk away, it seems. Dan, how far is the boat from this beach? From the shore? It's not far at all. It's just past the border of the shadow, basically. Okay, perfect. I'm, uh, before we even start combat, because I have a plan here. I've had a plan. I'm going to uh, control the balls of all the survivors, and I'm going to put them together and make, like, a wall, and I'm going to uh, launch them uh, towards Driver and K, and kind of like push them into the water, kind of like fling them towards the water, as in like get on the boat, like leave me to right, the beach. Right, right, right. Oh, that. I don't know if that necessarily leads to roll, so you can just do that, I'll say. Right, right, okay. And once they've done that, I'm going to turn back and I'm going to look at Driver. I'm going to go, just go, get them to safety. Oh, and no. As, uh, I make sure that they're out of range for what I want to do. The entire time the clash has been under the sand. If you remember oh. back, um, our, uh, our adventure with the angler, when I created those mines um, out of balls, when I was putting them together and they would explode on contact, the clash has been uh, doing that again. Uh, except under the, the, the sand here, there are dozens upon dozens of explosive mines uh, every few feet. As soon as one of the enemy stand users place their feet down on the, uh, on the ground here, they are all going to go off, starting a chain reaction. That's told the so cool. basically to explode. I, yes, I this is a massive explosion. That should get a cool and a smart. Yeah, cool. I'll give you two advantages for that for your long setup and your coolness. Oh, and that's going to attack both of the people coming towards you. That it must be all target. I've been thinking of this all week. <laughs> nice. That was pretty smart. What am I rolling here? Um, I would say maybe uh overkill? Yeah, overkill, I would say. Or destruction, which is just power Ooh, and power. Destruction. Power and power, okay. And they're gonna roll their uh, withstand respectively, Darius and his other so far unnamed gentlemen. All right. Well, um, I need an advantage. Your overkill is technically your overkill is technically higher because you have five in menacing and four in power. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Can I do that instead? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. You have two right. advantages. That'd be so fucking way. lame otherwise. Uh, so threes and fours are successes for you. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, five six, seven. seven. Yeah. Perfect. This, this is gonna be uh, Darius's roll to withstand. Four. Would have been a respectable role if it wasn't for that that other one. <laughs> Get and then this days. is the other gentleman, which is actually the, the same amount. So, <laughs> yeah. So they are both sent flying upwards by this. They disappear. This sort of shower of sand that you've sent up everywhere. That was so smart. 
Uh, it, it, yeah. is, it is explosive, Tan. It's not just sand. Well, it's yeah, but just, like, sand is also sand. Like, that's, that, He's that just describing that, like, like the, the visual. Oh, okay. It. Like, it's, like, the, like, the shore itself yeah. is completely It's like Normandy Beach or some shit, I assume. Yeah, so the sand is like a mist of sand once you've done this as well, obscure invisibility. And they, uh... Matt, being kind of a, uh, a dumbass here, uh, thought to shield himself uh, with his rubber balls as if that would do anything. Um, as he, you know, puts them away, you can see that his body is completely bruised and uh, there's sand and, and soot covering him. And considering he's had uh, basically the full reserve of his stand power on display here, he's going to collapse onto the ground, uh, sing out, because he's still maintaining that little um, bit of power he needs to keep the survivors in ball form. But also, like, from having the Clash do that and everything, that probably took out the majority of his stamina. Right, okay. So how many hits were you on again there? Do you remember? I think it was two? Me? Yeah. I, I, did, I don't think I've taken any hits. Right, okay. I can't so imagine. On, yeah, pretty yeah. still, yeah. Okay, so with bats and Catherine being sent out, uh, no, no, driver and Catherine being sent out. Driver, are you um, are you going to follow uh, Bats' advice there and catch the boat? Oh yeah, is Catherine, Catherine going to help us fight? By the way, because she clearly has like a capable. So yeah, you, but, but that started things and he sort of knocked her out of the fight there. So uh, it's a matter of whether they go back now. Mm, that's right. Driver, what are you thinking? Oh, he's muted. He's so worried. Jack! Uh, we could skip them for now? Question mark? He's um, going to Well, yeah, oh, so yeah. that's on that's that's pause for a second. Let's zoom back to, uh, to Blue Cycle for a minute then. Ah, uh, yes, the courier. Only a ru only single rung up from the water boy. <laughs> so, Chelsea, you are currently covered by slop and uh, waste, basically. As the slop waste formed, did it kill more things? Uh, it killed some fish, I'll say. How many? You can see dead fish sort of floating to the surface. How many corpses I still got to work with in a 15 meter radius? Quite a few, but like of little fish, basically, nothing huge. Uh, would there be... I want to try something. and I... Tell me if there's not enough. But I imagine, because we're like near the shore-ish, or are we like deep towards water? We're deep towards water, yeah. Okay. How many crabs are around here? The crabs. You can't see them from here, they're on the ocean floor, you assume. Oh, it just gave me an idea. Yeah, I was gonna try like a cars bullshit thing. Uh okay. I'll take I thought you meant like cars like the Disney movie was like, what the fuck is no, this? No, remember about? when Cars <laughs> makes the crab armor and he's like the lava couldn't get me. Oh, yeah. Um in that case What about what about plankton armor? Okay. Oh my god, how long have I been muted? Quite a while. Very long time. Oh, we thought you oh, were busy. Oh, I'm sorry. Um... Uh, my bad. Uh... Uh... Go ahead with your thing. It's fine. Yeah, we'll go right back after this then. <laughs> so, you said they're at the bottom, right? I think... Well, yeah. Well, if there are right, crabs, they're not, like, wading through the water around you. Right, right. How, so, de I mean, how, how deep... No, 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 you're good. How deep am I from the bottom? How deep is it where we are? It'll be a bit of a dive at this point. Is it feasible to do within the scope of a turn, or would this be like a multi-turn affair? I'll allow you to do it within a turn, because I'm nice. Oh, Hugs you. <laughs> uh, so Chelsea has a, her Jonathan Joestar moment, where rather than returning to the surface, she dives even deeper below! And, and the woman sort of <laughs> stays out, not a fool. Is she looking to drown faster? And as she goes to the bottom, she's pulling uh, anything she can. She's looking for crustaceans, things, sh other shelled uh, creatures, and she's going to try and gather uh, the corpses, all their, you know, seashells, uh, you know, like sort of crab shells, anything she can, and sort of form an armor around herself to resist this poison and also be an armor. Oh, wow, you've got armor now. <laughs> yeah. All right. And now with this armor around me. So that's a temporary plus one shooter ability for this combat then. Thank you. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna start now that I've got my armor. I'm gonna try and because I'm at the bottom and this thing's on its hands and knees, right? Yeah. I'm gonna try and swim towards what's it called, uh, Blue Oyster Colt's arm. And if I can within a turn, I'll attack it. But if not, I can pass the turn. I probably won't. Yeah, there's probably a bit too much to attack as well. Though. <laughs> sure, I'll pass the turn, but I'm making my way towards its arm. Okay, so when we get back, it'll be Blue Oyster Colt. So we're gonna swoosh over to a driver who has finally finished uh, his inner monologue. Nice. <laughs> That's the way he should do. <laughs> um, I uh, climb into the boat. Uh, is Catherine already in? Uh, yeah, she's uh, climbing up as well. All right. Um, I head over to the uh, driver's seat of the boat and I like uh, turn it on. Um, and I look back to Bats uh, after his fucking artillery strike uh so is there anyone near bats right now well wait see like, what's the situ see remind me of the situation so they got blown off that whole bit of beach basically bats has collapsed from exhaustion um, and it seems though it damaged his opponents it may not have killed them from what you know from what you can see it's hard to say because of that whole mist of sand that's been thrown up by the explosion as well is obscuring visibility a little bit uh, I turn around and start walking to the back of the boat, uh, and I tell Catherine, uh, get, get ready to go, um, the moment I get back. Alright, you sure you don't need my help? I, don't worry, I got this. Uh, and I, get to, and I, uh, jump off the boat, and I form proto Men as a bike beneath me, uh, and I start driving on top of the water. Yes. Um, and rushing over to bats, and I like reach out an arm, uh, and I'm gonna try and pull him onto the back of my bike. Bats is completely limp here, but he does manage to hook a finger along along yours. So you're kind of gonna have to pull him up. Yeah, it's like a yeah, fucked up version of that painting of like Adam and God touching hands. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I and, use the uh, momentum to use the momentum for my speed to help lift you up onto the bike. As Bat slumps across your back, he goes, "I had a name for it, but I forgot to call it out." <laughs> you'll have, you'll have to tell me about it later. It's, you it's, didn't see the fucking explosion. Uh, no, I saw that. I meant the name. Oh, well, I forget. Where's Kay? She's back on the boat. Don't worry. I don't worry. know how much longer I can keep everybody safe. Don't worry, buddy. You're going to be fine. And after I say that... Um... I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, of my and men. It's menacing all of a sudden. I start to drive back to the boat, uh, keeping... And I glance over to the guys that Bats is seemingly knocked out. The mist is starting to clear. You can see the uh, the gentleman with the orange hair sort of laying in the Peter family guy position on the beach. <laughs> and he, he does seem to be unconscious. Holy shit, you got him. You don't, however, see the other guy. And So you're driving across the ocean at the moment, is that right? Yeah. Towards the river. You don't see the other guy, the Darius main, the Hammond user, but you do hear from behind you footsteps, like sparking footsteps, very quickly. And if you look in your, does, does um, yeah, does as, a rear rear mirror. Mirror. Yeah. <laughs> as you look into your rearview mirror, that I assume has a little sign that says things in mirror may be large, the snows of the near appear. You do see Darius Main sprinting across the surface of the water, Hammond sparking around his foot as he runs across the ocean. Towards you like the fucking Terminator. Jesus. Does he look? Does he look any like damaged or He's like? Got is burns he across his body. He does uh, look can hurt. I okay. can I toss bats onto the boat and then like swerve around to go and challenge this guy on my own? Absolutely, you can. If bats will allow it, of course. <laughs> sorry, sorry, that. Nero, you're just dead weight. <laughs> oh, you're fucking throwing me. Yeah, I toss you onto the boat. Okay. Undignified heat. Yeah, you land in an undignified heat, but you are safe for the time being. As Go, Catherine! 
go, did you say? Yeah, go. Okay. Um, well, she begins to go. Uh, as bats, as you like, your eyes like flicker open and close. You can see the, the um, driver slowly growing smaller in your vision as he swerves around on his bike to go after the man charging towards him. I've been wanting to face you down for a while, buddy. The feeling's mutual. Your friend's technique was splendid. I have to give it to him. You, however, I'm not sure I'd thought before. Unless... Oh, the one from Berlin, yes? You, you said that was the first time anyone's landed a hit on you in a while, right? And this is the second. Ready for I, your third? I take no pleasure in this, but I can't allow leaks. I'm afraid your life will have to end here, young man. And sort of... Still in, like, oh, standing on the ocean, he gets into, like, a boxing stance. Um... I, like, uh... I dr drive on over to him, and, like, mid-air, uh, proto... Or, like, mid-drive proto man, like, forms back into the armor, and I start running on top of the water towards him. And... Can we have an aura aura fight here? Absolutely, you fucking can. If that's what you want to do. How is Proto Man remaining like on the water? It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's taking a lot of stand-up power. <laughs> I'm projecting little boats under my feet. Maybe he's turned the tires. He's, he's using yes, the you know, rubber. The tires. Roller yes, exactly. The stands go and the tires flip sideways so they can float. <laughs> yes. Um. And I, as I'm doing the or or thing, I want to project like I want to use the will of one to create like multiple arms to try and like overwhelm him with like attacks from every direction. As you're doing crowd interviews, goes oh hand to hand, and then for the whole time you've seen him, he seems like very dour, very stone faced. Like for the first time, a grin spreads across his face. Splendid, come at me. <laughs> it is all. <laughs> So uh, he's gonna roll aura, of course, and I assume you are doing the same. Yeah. What is that? Power and speed? Yeah. You know those fights we used to watch, Tan, like those little pixel fights of the JoJo characters. Yeah. I want that with this right now. It's so good. Uh, do we? Ha do I have an advantage here, Gunny Gun? Um, uh, are you fighting your resolve? Does this have anything to do with your character traits? Uh, well, I am risking myself I feel like the very to protect that run back to, to fight him is very much resolved. Yeah. So I'll give you an advantage. Yeah. Sure. Hell yeah. Um, I'm also doing the arms thing to like try and, but I guess me that's not really too clever enough. Yeah, whatever. One, two, One, three. two three, four, five. You know what would be kind of fun is if you recorded Proto Men in bike form, and then when you had it in armor form, you had played the recording of the motorbike and threw the motorbike around as a weapon, like fucking Kiryu, uh, Tiger style, I, whatever it is. I hate to say this, that was already one of my plans. <laughs> Don't hate to say that, that just means I'm on the same page. Yeah. About that. So for a few seconds, the two of you seem equally matched. Like, if we're counting just like your normal arms and his normal arms, they're equal in speed and power here. But when you bring in the uh, the replicas, the projections, they manage to like weave through his defenses and slam into his jaw, sending him sort of skidding back on the surface of the water. Hell yeah! The third, splendid, very good. <laughs> Show me a good time, Jack. Exactly. <laughs> You can see, like, his, his hammer is, like, sparking through his I head. Do the, I do, like, the exact same, uh, like, hand-to-hand -hand pose that Raiden does against <laughs> Armstrong. He plays hammer and ball, you know. <laughs> so it's right. his turn, right? Yeah, so, um... Sort of as as your uh, as he sort of spreads his arms wide, he plunges plunges his fist down into the water and shouts, "Moonlight White Overdrive!" Ooh. And the entire like section of ocean you're standing on like freezes into ice suddenly, like trapping your feet almost. But that's what he's going to try. He's going to try to trap your feet. Is basically. it like uh, is it like chum ice though? Because it's all chummy now. Well, this bit isn't chum. Oh, okay. Uh, can I jump up into the air and try and like hold myself up and levitate with that jetpack I have recorded? So you can as a dodge there, yeah, body and whip for a dodge Let's there. Go. You're trying to restrain with power and durability. 
Get his ass, Jack. Wait, what happened to the alien guy? Where's he? He's he a is Peter, Griffin Peter Family page. Guy posed. He, he Peter Griffin. <laughs> and Lois. Nice. One, two, three. Yes! Yeah, so you managed to avoid his blow here as you hang him near. And he's, uh, he, the, 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 the ocean is frozen this bit, of course, but you are not affected by it personally. Yeah. He pulls his arms free out of the ice to sort of like regard you from below, like waiting for whatever your next move is. Um, I want to. Um, hang on, Tane. I'm gonna send you a DM real quick. Please send me. Um, I'm going to, while I'm in the air, I'm going to form, the, like, like uh, Darnell suggested, I'm going to project the Proto Men's bike form underneath me and like fucking nitro turbo charge, like, uh, like you grabbing like a power up in Mario doing the, like the speed up in midair, mm. like char charge the bike, uh, to slam into him. Uh, and at the last second, I want to jump off the bike and let it, like, fly into him to make it explode. Right, okay, in response, he's gonna plunge his hands into to the ice for him, like, throw it up, like, scooping out big chunks of the ice, like, they melt in the and then freeze them again to create a kind of barrier here. Alright, what would I be rolling? Um, I would say you would be rolling, um... So you're just like zooming towards him with it, basically. Are you riding the motorbike or just like throwing it at him? Uh, I'm riding the bike at first, uh, but as I approach, I jump off it at like the last second to have it explode as it gets near him. I'd say probably race then, plucking speed. Against All right. His, uh, his uh, intercepts with his durability. Any advantages? Um, I'll tell you what. Roll me a. Uh, Bamboozle. Oh, bamboozle. And if you get okay. up more than a two, I'll give you an advantage. Uh, bamboozle. Wit and menacing? Yes. Uh, that's more than a two. Well, yeah, get an advantage on that total one you did then. And he's going to intercept. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Right, okay. So he throws up the ice barrier, but your bike is too fast as you jump off. It slams into his chest. He, he like, catches it in mid air, but the wheel, like, still, like, whirs against his chest because he's steam being thrown up by the force of it as he sort of roars in pain and throws the bike aside. Holy shit. <laughs> he's 1v1 again. He's <laughs> like playing Dark Souls boss. <laughs> <laughs> Let me solo him. <laughs> <laughs> Dante suddenly puts a pot over his head. His right. move now. Okay. So uh, this time, it seems like he doesn't actually go for you at all. He sort of lets out a breath, seemingly calm down, and then, as if you're not having to fight at all, he suddenly sits down cross legged on the ice and uh, golden hammered energy flows around him. And what is this? And you can see um, that some of his wounds close. Uh, while he's doing this, um, I want to attack him while he's... I guess this would technically be a counter-attack. I guess. He's not really doing an attack, though, so it's not really a counter-attack. This will be your move if you want to yeah. do this next. Um, as he's, like, healing himself, um, I... Uh, I... <clears throat> uh, I start, like, sprinting towards him, and once again, like, project the bike into my hands, but... 
I'm using it as like a fucking melee weapon to like whack him with it. Like slam it into him. Right, okay. <laughs> so counterattack? Okay, so he's gonna do a little bit of a finesse move here. As you're sort of lunging towards so this, just to be clever, this is your turn now, basically. Okay. So this is something you can counter. Oh, did he heal? So, he did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. So still cross like he's like very smoothly gets up in an instant or swings around and he's going to try and basically like finesse the bike out of your hands and then hit you with it. Like All you right. pick pocket so you can get a bike out of your hands, essentially. Is he counterattacking? No, but yes, this is counter. Okay, so he's taking the hit regardless. But no, no, he's it. well, he's not. He's preventing it by taking the bike. He can't get it by the bike if he's oh, taking it off you. Oh, but he's not going to do damage to Jack. Basically. Well, he's going to try. He's going to hit him with it if he gets hold of it. Next turn. Well, actually, no, no. He yeah, actually's taken it out of his hands. That's my mistake. Yeah, sorry. Okay. He's not going to. He'll have I, the I bike. But he's not going to use it yet. You're good. Uh, so what am I rolling? Um, well, you're rolling. Um, you're you're just basically trying to hit him with it. So I'll probably say strike there, power and precision, and that'll be against his. Uh, Finesse, which is speed and precision. One, One two, two, three, four. four. The fucking gods are on your side today. Um, can I, can I come up with something here, Tan? Okay. Um, he grabs, he successfully grabs the bike out of my hands. Um, and as he like spins around to slam it into me, the bike suddenly explodes, blasting him down into the ice. Oh yeah, so he breaks through the ice base, leaving a hole in it as he heads underwater. Uh, I like crouch down next to the hole hole he's made, and I say, uh, oh, "Too little, uh, too little, too uh, slow, huh?" There's no reply. Yeah, I didn't think so. That was worse than Vasily's usual. I was about to say, Stigma has influenced you. <laughs> and with that, the uh, combat comes to an end for the time being. What's your next move, Driver? Um, I doubt he's done with me quite yet. This is a Hamon warrior. He would not let... He would not just run away from a fight. Um, and I want to keep an eye on my surroundings that's true but he's underwater so he can't use hollow he can't breathe that unless is true unless he does a jonathan and finds some bubbles in a cave that that's probably what he's doing <laughs> steals oxygen from a fish starts sucking on his gills <laughs> this. okay so you keep watching your surroundings what are you actually like doing while you're keeping watch like, almost, um, like the boat's like almost gone in the distance. What if you project something over the hole in the ice so he can't get back up and he dies of asphyxiation? <laughs> He'll probably die of hypothermia. That too. Um, I that yeah, that's kind of funny actually. I want to like project like a little cap on top of the hole I made, okay. and just like. Uh, just like calmly wait for his next move. I have no way of knowing what this guy's capable of, so I kind of have to keep my guard up, but not make any rash decisions quite yet. Okay, so you're making a cap. Is that a like translucent or is it solid cap? Can you see through it all? Or uh, yeah, you can see through it. Okay. So the second you put that cap on top, you see two glinting lights at the bottom of the ocean there. Like, the, the what right eye line and width to be eyes, basically. And the second later, two beams of energy blast out of the bottom of the ocean, trying to go through that that um, that cap um, and to strike you directly, basically. This is the aim for your throat. Uh... I so, oxygen. out okay, you might not believe me when I say this. I expected him to do that, <laughs> uh, and so I want to say, Tan, okay. I was, I was literally just about to DM you. Um, that ca uh, that cap is like, um, what is it? Uh, concave to like try and deflect it. Or, like, try and mislead him into where, what he's actually aiming at. 
I understand, but... Yeah, I, I don't have any evidence, so... No. I would have expected it happened before, but unfortunately, the attack has been launched. I yeah. can't retcon. Well, hold on. You can spend luck to retcon detail you forgot to be I don't luck. have luck. luck. Oh, that sucks for you. <laughs> oh, lucky. Yeah, you have zero luck. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. That's okay, true. so, yeah, this, this, he's going to snipe at can, you, basically. Can I spend my luck to say he did that? No. Okay. You're not even here. <laughs> it was cool. So yeah, he's um, the, launching his uh, his fake space Ricker stingy eyes at you. Uh, guy found the oxygen. I want to try and duck out of the way, Tan. So it's a normal dodge here. Yeah. Body and wit, then go for it. Oh god, Ooh, that's luck. a one. Luck's finally run out. We get one, two. Oh, that's a minor hit. Yeah, so they hit you in the chest, uh, driver, and you they, they, they do go through you, but in spots that aren't, like, too bad. Although it does fucking hurt, and you are sent flying back onto the ice. Yeah, uh, I like to lay down on the ice, clutching my wounds. Yeah, the ice is turning red around you. And I assume the cap would have been broken in the process. Yeah, as well, you know, yeah. Right? And you see him sort of climbing out of the cap, sort of come on glinting around him. Seems like he's used that to keep himself warm in these freezing waters. Uh, I've heard your ability allows you to mimic those of vampires, but it's crazy to see it in action for myself. This is insanity, isn't it? Ready for another round? Always, but one question. Why mimic a vampire? Your entire clan is founded on trying to eliminate them. The philosophy is to fight fire with fire and mimic their capabilities to take them down. So how does that explain the vampire you're working with? The purpose of the thing and the way it's best used are very different things, as I'm sure you understand. Right. I'm sure you want earned to board wanting to be a lap dog for your organization. Frankly, I'm a part timer. I'll I'll do deliveries for anyone who can pay the bill. <laughs> Here, I'll deliver this microfilm to you guys. <laughs> if you pay me a little more. Pay the bill. Unfortunately, I'm loaned to greater purposes. And he gets back into his cozy runs towards you. We swoosh back to uh, Chelsea and... Uh, can Mystery. I say one thing? Okay. Um, greater purposes. I don't have anything like that. I'm just drifting through my life. Uh, and I hop onto Proto Men's bike form and start charging towards him. Why does he drifting. sound so proud of it? The is it's time for you to sing. Yeah. Okay, then we're going to swoosh back to Chelsea and Vasily. It is uh, Blue Oyster Cult's turn, I believe. And then yes, yes, next. The blue is sort of picking itself about the water finally here. Um, and it seems to um, be swinging its head face, its, its sort of face on its chest around to face uh, the floating Vasily as it's charging up another beam, at this time aimed for him particularly. Oh no, and he can't control his flying platform either. Yeah. Uh, as part of the re. Oh, can I. I guess I wouldn't be able to see that. No, yeah. Fuck. So, uh, Vasily, uh, it's going to launch a, a strike at you. You could devolve the bones, maybe, and they would become, like, bumpy or something? I don't know. I think... Hmm. Wait, is this, is this like... So, how far is this saw from the kaiju's, like, well, body? Uh, it's relatively close at this point, so you're, like, right in its face, pretty much. Yes. Hmm. So he's rolling a... a Strike, by the way, for this. The rules of which are as follows. Oh god, oh fuck. He rolled... This kaiju rolled quite well. The oh, number of the beasts. How far is our fight from Driver's fight? It's pretty far away. Ah, oh, it's a shame. I was gonna say, it might be cool to, like, lure him over and then have him accidentally get hit by, like, the aftermath of a Hamon attack. You know, I, for one, think that maybe, uh, Vasily 
seeing this ginormous energy beam coming his way, uh, abandoned ship off of uh, <laughs> this the platform. And he's gonna try and leap onto the body of uh, the kaiju, maneuvering his way on. So we need a shadow of the Colossus set? Uh, sorry, could you repeat that? You need a shadow of the Colossus set? Yes, he's gonna shadow the Colossus. So, real quick, since his hands and knees were on the ground and she lunged at me and I was on a disc, where's the vampire right now? You don't know where she is right now. She seems to be somewhere also shadow of the Colossus and got her and stand. So, I would say that's probably a maneuver from you, Vasily, then, uh, body and speed against this service right, uh, roll. Alright, alright. And I'll give you a rule of cool advantage as well. Hell yeah! One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so you manage to leap out of the way of this beam. The bone um, saw that you leap off of, you see it, like, turns into what seems to be tissue paper before, like, falling sadly out of the sky and bobbing on the surface of the chum. And you manage to, like, Land on paper in the sea. <laughs> you say as the whole area is like toxic waste right now, <laughs> and you manage to like leap on and grab onto like it's, there's all sorts of like weird structures across the surface of this thing's body that you can sort of clamber up and climb up. So it you land on its side. Or does it feel like ethereal, but somehow it's you're not going through it? Exactly. I gotta find the vampire. Okay, and it's uh, Chelsea's turn. So, no, it's Versicle's turn. Yeah, it's Vasily's turn. So the, the user seems to have the very similar thought to you, Vasily. As you see, like, something, like, m unlike you, who were like, you were having to, like, manually and laboriously, like, pull yourself along its body and using these rungs, you see the woman skittering like an insect along the side of this thing's body towards you. Wait, isn't it Vasily's turn? Because that was Blue Oyster's call turn. Oh, yeah, true. You're absolutely right. It's Vasily's turn. Yeah, because I'm so sorry. But like, because blue, that, his his dodge was leaping onto it. Yes, yes, yes. So Vasily, it's your turn. Time Roaches just ate that prior timeline. Okay, I guess this this user is not in sight in line of sight. Not right now. Now. Mm, I time think, Roaches tore her away from your vision. I think you know Vasily needs a form far more capable of clinging onto uh, uneven surfaces. Or a better climb. I think it's time to revert into a more primal ape like state. And then start clambering around while also uh what what happens if he tries devolving the stance? It's just like There's no response. This is not a being that has like a evolutionary history. Ah, uh, it can't it doesn't go from like stand to no stand, okay. Yeah. Damn, not even a baby stand. No. <laughs> Silver chariot that lied to me. <laughs> Shut up, man! Oh, baby. Silver I think then I'm. I think then the time to just uh, give the beat, give the running beat down as he does in fact have the colossus his way towards. Uh, the he's gonna guess he'll be near the head or the neck. He can. Well, yeah. There's the neck. There's no necessarily a head here. There's just sort of a blank neck. Right. He'll be approaching the neck. Okay, so you're going to maneuver your way up there and I assume attack? Yes, yes. Okay, that's probably another maneuver roll here. As you're doing it, it's sort of thrashing around, trying to send you flying off, basically. So that's going to be for it a... Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll say intercept here. The durability and precision. Yeah, so you managed to get up to the neck here. And how? what is your method of attack here? You're going to punch into the, the stump or...? Yes, yes. I'm not I'm not quite sure, you know, what will happen if he attacks the neck. Will it just, you know, actually affect the vampire's neck or will it just do something weird and there's no head to attack? But only one way to find it. Right, okay. Maybe he'll pop up all the blood he's got. You slam into the, 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 the stump of the neck, and with your strength, you can feel cracks like spreading across the surface of the blue obstacle. It seems less um, 
It seems like it, it took much damage that it should have from that. It seems like some kind of weak points, basically. Uh, one that is difficult to get to, of course, but it does take damage from this. Oh. So what they say? They head the serpent and the rest will follow. The serpent? Okay. <laughs> okay, and with that, we go to Blue Ossicle's turn. So, Chelsea, you are underwater heading for the leg, is that right? Or the arm? Chelsea? Yeah. You were, so you were like underwater heading for the yes, leg or the arm? Yes, but he's stood up now, right? Also, isn't yeah. it Blue Oyster Colt's turn, or did I miss it? It is, yeah. I'm just asking. Yeah, I was going towards the arm, so I'm probably, I was probably somewhere underneath it when it raised. Okay, so what would you be doing now, then? So, uh, if you want me to say, I had an idea for that for my turn, but I don't know if you want Blue Oyster Colt to go first. Well, Blue Oyster Colt is going first, but spoilers, she's going after you. <laughs> okay, so my idea was... Uh, if you recall correctly, way back when, flashback, uh, when she killed the guy who had, like, seven kids, she put his bones in her suit, uh, then she hasn't used them. So I was gonna oh. have them come out and make, like, a fan underneath her, like a propeller, and launch her, like, rapidly towards the water's surface, and then go up in the air and, like, try to stab one of this thing's eyes to blind vampire lady, partially. Okay. As you are doing this, as you're putting those weapons in place, you see a black blur like shoot past you in the water. Difficult to see because of the ocean, of course. And they sort of like, again, again, sort of whirling around, and you realize the user has dived down into the water to pursue you directly. While the stand itself is fighting uh, Vasily. I see. So she's just going to try and like swipe at me or something? Well, yeah, she's sort of lunging past you, like clawing at, at your chest and stomach, basically. I, I, uh, I think I, strike from her. I'm just gonna try and like put my arms in like a cross block position with my armor, try to like basically just block. I don't know if that'd be like a no sell or a withstand. Or... Withstand, I'd probably say if you're actively like blocking it. Pluck and durability. And I have a plus one on that right now. Okay, cool. This is her roll. Uh, fuck. Ah, she. Oh no, she did slightly better than me. She got a hit. Yeah, I'm afraid. So, as you raise your hands to block, she sort of whirls her hand further down, slashes at your stomach, basically. Long gashes open up as your blood spills into the water around you. And it's extremely painful. I imagine. And there's, now there's just like a cloud of blood around you. Uh, Vasily, if you can see the ocean here, you can see like blood like painting the spot of ocean of directly above Chelsea here, so you do know where she is but from this. It's time to assume Chelsea's dead and do like the fucking Mr. Rivers scream Jim. again. <laughs> Caesar! Oh man. Chelsea! Yeah, that would be, now would be a Kino time for Bats to unleash Rivers and be like, Chelsea's in danger. Does he care that much? No. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> like a co-worker. <laughs> Hey, no, we bonded. You you can't take that. You can't gaslight me out of that. We bonded. He, he literally had a rage moment Mr. when she Mr. went Rivers down. Mr. Rivers suddenly doesn't remember your name. He had a rage moment when she went down. We start interrogating him at HQ, and when we bring up your name, he's like, who the fuck is Chelsea? Guys, I'm not crazy, right? Tan is gaslighting me on this. You mean Chelsea? Yeah. I'm quitting no. the campaign I'm effective joking. immediately. I'm joking. I'm joking. I just, don't, I mean, that just mean that he probably wouldn't like dive into the water and swim oh. over to like guy just stand to save you. Probably not. But imagine if he used public enemy on one of these fucks right now. If he used public enemy on the vampire and Hamon guy, we could get some Kino. I'm just saying. All right. So yeah, I'm it... not gonna lie. I want to keep fighting the Hamon guy on my own. I'm having fun with this one v one. So it's uh, it's down to Chelsea's turn then. Uh, yes, it's Chelsea's turn now. Okay. So, I think what she's gonna do is, um, I think she knows she can't fight this thing. She doesn't have the sun, uh, she doesn't have Hamon, um, and uh, she doesn't have garlic, which she's not even sure if it would work, because vampires seem pretty fucked up since she's encountered them. Uh, so she's just gonna try 
the only thing she can think of, which is to fight the stand, because whatever happens to the stand seems to be happening to her as well. So she's going to go with the same plan and try to propel herself up out of the water, and then as she's, like, launching up, turn the bones into, like, a spear or a sword and stab one of this thing's eyes in its, like, uh, chest face. Well, can I just, like, attack it directly, basically? Yeah. Okay, so is, is that, would you say that's close range or a long range attack here? So she's launching to do it like a stab, but she's got a probably a bit of a distance to fly, so however you want to I'll let you pick that snipe or strike, whichever you want to do. Um, probably strike, I think, is what I would want. And it's going to go for a no-sell here, basically. Strike is power and precision. Okay, I can run with that. Please make your roll, if you dare. God, I am not rolling super well. I got four. One, one two, three, four, yeah, five. Yeah. So yeah, you're like having your shown in fucking moments. You're screaming in sort of exertion as you launch yourself out the water and towards its face. And you bounce off its teeth and go flying back. It's unbelievable how fucking durable this thing is from any other angle. Alright, I think that's my move. I think it's back to Blue Oyster Cult. Okay, so what Blue Oyster Cult is going to do, as you're falling, Chelsea, it's going to place its hand underneath you so you land on its hand, and it's going to fire a beam directly at you. Where does it fire beams out of? Out of its mouth. Alright, I'm spending my three temp luck for a forgotten detail for my reaction. Okay. So, um, I see it start to open its mouth, and the detail I forgot is as her attack failed, she sort of like dropped or rather threw up the spear sword thing she was trying to hit it with and when its mouth opens she quickly tries to launch it inside the mouth and like into its throat okay i'd say roll for a strike here with with, um, with advantage okay will this be a counter attack or is this just going to stop the laser it will stop the laser if it lands okay strike you said and it's going to go for a strike as well. Any advantage on us? I'll give you an advantage for your for your good thinking. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, let's get to turn here. One, two, three. So it blasts out this beam. At the same time, you throw out the spear. It goes through. It, by, it lands in a second before the beam hits. Instead of a beam, it just sort of explodes inside its mouth here as the thing goes staggering backwards and falls back into the ocean. Where instead of like landing on its hands and knees this time, it seems to vanish as you see a, the black blur of the user down to the water and speed away, it seems, as though receiving some outside, uh, outside information or something. Yeah, Chelsea's going to ignore that outside information point. Be like, yeah, run, bitch! You don't want this smoke! You see that, Vasily? Did you see that? Vasily is also falling into the ocean because oh. he was on the thing. I'll go catch him. Ah. <laughs> he also thinks he did that. <laughs> I, I'm going to go catch him with my little bone fly disc. I'm going to princess carry him to safety. Let's cut to the chase. Bone Claws. boat! Bone, <laughs> bone boat. Yeah, I'm going to fly, hover us back to the ship if I can. Okay, as you're doing that, as you're heading to the ship, back on shore. I, um, hold on, I, th I think as Vasily coughs, you know, a bit uh, disoriented from falling, he goes, Chelsea, the neck! It was the neck! What about the neck? No, it, it was the weak point! I did it! <laughs> you sure did, buddy. Give, <laughs> I'll hold him close, give him a hug as we head to the boat. This is, this is fucking Chelsea right now. Did this thing even have a neck? You said it didn't have a head. <laughs> it had a neck, yeah. <laughs> okay, it said it had a neck. Chelsea. <laughs> he did it. It's <laughs> like, uh, like his bleeding out is like his last thoughts. After this, there's yeah, a video I have to show you, Tan, that is exactly this situation. It's very old. Stigma will know it. And so as you're standing across from Darius Main here, uh, both of you on this field of ice. There's a beep from his his own pager that he seems to look down at. Seems we have time for one more punch, if you're willing. Ready? You are. 
I find myself enjoying you. Oh. You too. Maybe in another situation we could have been friends, but... Kay is shaking and crying at the gay tension here. Friends, what better friendship is there than this? As he pulls his fist back. Can't so, say I disagree. And this time he's, he's skewing all his fancy tactics and fancy techniques, and he's just throwing a punch of all his fucking strength towards you. And I'm giving you an advantage for it, because <laughs> <laughs> I do what I fucking want in this game. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I'm going to have a uh, driver um, rush in. Uh, he's going to be doing a counterattack, um, like fucking Expecting cross counter, yeah. cross <laughs> counter, cross counter shit. Like as he punches me, I want to land a punch on him. Absolutely. So I'd say that's a strike from you as well, then. Oh, precision. And I'll give you an advantage as well for your, your warrior's heart. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Welcome to the true man's world. I love the that keeps we get into the choral echo or whatever. So that's, for me, it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. You okay, both so hit Tan, each other at the same time. Tan, gambit time. Okay. Remember what I sent you in DMs? Yes, I do. Um, as his fist collides with Dante, uh, Dante like spits out blood. Uh, then, like, winks and says, gotcha. And suddenly, Dante glows bright and fucking explodes. Right, okay. Well, so where is real Dante, by the way, at this point? Uh, Dante is currently cloaked and standing a short distance away on the ice. And as the explosion clears, you see him with, uh, with more wound ears. All sorts of firsts today, as that same strange shadow from before that appears underneath him and swallows him up, taking him away. Wait a minute, if yeah. it's not daytime, how are there shadows? Because you can have shadows at night time. What? Yeah. yeah. There's more kinds of light than sunlight, you understand? I know, but is, is there moonlight? Yeah. But moonlight is sunlight reflected off the moon. Take it up with a rocket, not me. <laughs> <laughs> DL loves hanging out in the moonlight. You're not putting <laughs> shit on me with that. <laughs> Dancing in the moonlight. Uh, he didn't take a hit from that last one, did he? Uh, he doesn't see me dead now. But well, at any rate, the combat is ended, so it's let's well, see. I, I, I already ship driver and this guy. They're totally gay for each other in my head. A little bit, yeah. Um, K could never. Okay, so my plan out of my plan for that collision was for. Uh, if Driver got that last hit in uh, for the cross counter, I would have tried to take off his one last bit of HP in a surprise attack. Right, okay, but with Didn't this, happen, though. all the remaining shadows that was all lit in the beach fade away, and it seems the, the night on Clarag has come to an end, as you are all in very different places. Only one of you has actually left on the boat and it's bats with Catherine. <laughs> Oh, I guess I literally just thought the bullshit way to beat the beam. I, I kind of wish I got to use it now. I'll, I'll save it later. Yeah, we'll save it for the next. You'll have to do that on your next play for real. Yeah. Uh, as I look over, after watching the shadow vanish, I look over to the boat sailing away, and I just whisper to myself, "Higher purposes, huh?" Uh, and I um, uh, hop onto Proto Men's bike form, and I start driving after the boat. You know what, since this is a short term, that might be a perfect sort of ending point there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He rides off into the sunset, or the sunrise even. <laughs> like, indeed, it seems like the sun is basically just like, starting to rise so, now. Somewhere out there, there's. How long this... have we been here? <laughs> there's a. Uh, the post credit scene is the two <laughs> lesbian dinosaur fish are like talking to each other in their weird language in the ocean. Like, do you think we're going to make it? <laughs> This to be fair, you have created two, like, life finds a way. <laughs> life finds a way. What has Basili unleashed upon the world? The fucking apex predators. Just when you thought the Leviathans might, were going to go extinct. They won't be able to reproduce, at least. Do you, think, 
What would happen My if a Leviathan runs into one of them? Are they compatible? Like, what the fuck? What the I fuck? think Starbuck would actually eat them. Like, dead serious, he would right. actually try to eat them. Finally, a good meal around head. here. Finally, a, a worthwhile morsel. <laughs> it's, like the end, it's like the ending of Iron Lung. Don't spoil the ending of Iron Lung, I haven't seen it. Uh, Alright, well... Thank you guys for watching. Uh, do we have any closing remarks before we end it off here? Uh, watch Skibbity Soil. No. <laughs> I found a video of a horse eating a live baby chick. All right. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>